the reports were that the gunshots came in rapid succession. Surveillance video obtained by WLWT shows you what neighbors on Derek Turnbow Avenue heard just a few minutes before 5 p.m. tonight. Within three seconds, three people were shot as a car speeds away from the scene and victims yell for help. All three victims were taken to the hospital. All those gunshot wounds are not life threatening. It's not clear yet how many, if any, were targeted. The shooting happened about a block from TQL Stadium in the West End, leaving bullets in neighbors' cars and homes. Police needed about 40 crime markers, many indicating shell casings. Whether it was an automatic weapon or a, or a semi-automatic weapon that was just uh, operated rapidly, okay. we don't know. But there were a lot of shots fired in a quick succession. Zoom into that video, you see a passenger holding a gun out the window of a black sedan as it drives past a gold car. A woman just getting home from work was in the car, now riddled with bullets. Her mother tells me somehow she wasn't hurt. Sergeant Ryan Jones says the outcome could have been much worse. Residential area, this was, um, this was, it could have been a very dangerous situation, or it was a very dangerous situation. Yeah, no word so far tonight of any arrests in this shooting. We did ask, but so far, police have not released the ages of any of the victims. Reporting live at District 1 Police Headquarters tonight, Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5. And, and Jatara, I understand you have a little bit more perspective. So explain to the viewers how often neighbors are seeing violence in that part of the West End. Yeah, so before today, up until this point in 2022, there have been seven shootings in the West End. That is down from 2020 and down from 2021 as well. Good to hear that. Jatara Mickey reporting live for us tonight from police headquarters.